To calibrate the Hariba conductivity meter, we want to start with turning the meter on, moving the protective cap, and we'll use a 141 calibration solution, which is 1.41 millisiemens per centimeter, or 1,410 microsiemens per centimeter. The sample well is this little green thing. The measuring electrodes are here in the, the black section. And we just want to fill the reservoir with a calibration solution, wait for the reading to stabilize, which is indicated with a small happy face, which we now have. And you can see right now we're reading at 1.44 millisiemens, or 1,440 microsiemens. We push the calibrate button, and we go into calibration mode. You can see the little symbol there for calibration mode. And it's calibrated to 1.41 millisiemens. And when we get a happy face, we're all done. So we have our happy face. We then rinse the electrode head with deionized or distilled water and just flush it out. Because dilution matters for conductivity meters, we want to make sure we always dry the sample well with a little piece of Kim wipe to get the the water out um, so we don't dilute our, our next reading. For the pH meter, it's more or less the same process, except we're going to calibrate to two points. Um, again, we turn the meter on, and we open the sample well. If you prefer, you can take this little flap off. I like to leave it on to protect the electrode. We calibrate at pH 7 first with the calibration solution that came with the meter. We want to put enough solution in that we have both the reference electrode and the measuring electrode wet and connected by the liquid. So the measuring electrode is here. The reference electrode is that little white spot. And we want to have our solution connecting both. So again, when we get a happy face, You can see that we're at um, 6.99. We want to calibrate to this, so we push the calibrate button. And you can see we're calibrating to 7.00. And we have that little symbol showing we're in calibration mode. Now we just wait for the happy face, and we've done our calibration to pH 7. When we've got our calibration at pH 7 finished, we want to rinse the uh, sample well. Because we're measuring pH, it is not so concentration dependent, so we don't really have to blot the inside of the meter. If we do blot it, if you do blot it, the glass membrane over the measuring electrode is very sensitive, so you really want to be very gentle, which is why I generally don't blot the electrode. Now we want to calibrate at pH 4, use the pH 4 buffer solution. Again, fill the sample well. Uh, make sure we have both the measuring and reference electrode dampened, and we have both in contact with liquid. The liquid is consistently across. Again, we wait for the happy face. We have our happy face, so we push the calibrate button. Initially, it wants to calibrate to pH 7. We don't want that. We push again, and we're now calibrating to pH 4. If we were calibrating to 10, we would push one more time, and we would get the calibration for 10. And we wait again for the happy face. We now have our happy face. And again, we just rinse with deionized water, and we're all calibrated. That's it.